Hey, what's up guys? Benny Brosef here, and today I got something a little different for you guys. I've been hard at work on a controller script that lets you play Diablo 3 with your PC controller. What? Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, so basically, what it does is it takes the buttons on your controller and enhances them, them a bit to make them more useful for this game specifically although you could use it in any game that you want let me try to explain the first thing is movement the left stick is going to be handling all of that for you anytime you want to move just go in that direction with the stick and you're good to go the right stick is a little bit more special it creates a target on the screen that will determine where an ability will be cast that way you can move in one direction and fire an ability off in the other without having to move the cursor back and forth manually. Next is abilities. Every button on your controller is 100% configurable, so what the setup ends up being is entirely up to you, but this is the default behavior. So, left trigger is going to be your left mouse button plus shift. Pretty much, you know, force attack. That's what, what it usually is. Uh, right trigger is going to be your right mouse button. The left bumper it's going to be your first ability, and whenever it's held down, it'll be your third ability. The right bumper is going to be your second ability, and whenever it's held down, it'll be your fourth ability. X is your potion. Y is banner. The A button is going to only left-click. That way, you can interact with things. The B button is going to be close all windows. Start is the game menu back is inventory uh, and if you press and hold it it goes into inventory mode which I'll talk about in a bit the d-pad up is skills down is town portal left is your follower right is the minimap and when d-pad right is held that opens up the world map now the left analog button is gonna be your freedom button and the right analog button is gonna be the loop button now, you may be wondering, what the hell is inventory mode, freedom, and loot? Uh, I don't have that on my keyboard. Well, don't worry. Those are special keywords that you can put into the config file to say that this key will trigger a special action. Pressing the key that you've named freedom is going to pretty much unlock the mouse from the center of the screen and allow the left analog stick to move it around freely. Loot, whenever it's held down, is going to spam, and I mean spam, a left click under your character's feet so that you can pick up items just by moving around. Pressing and holding the key map to inventory is going to go ahead and activate inventory mode. This mode makes it so that the D-pad actually controls the cursor by the inventory grid instead of just moving around uh, this from the center. You can kind of see how it works here. And to get rid of it, all you do is you press and hold the button again, and it turns it off. I should also mention that if your controller has the vibration feature, pressing and holding a key is going to trigger a short vibrate to tell you that it's been held the required amount of time. That amount, in milliseconds, can also be configured in the config file. Speaking of the config file, how does that thing work? Well, let's take a look at it. So all the buttons are of course going to be labeled under buttons. Two weird ones that you may see here are force move and ignore target. Force move should be pretty obvious. You need to set it to whatever button you've configured in game to be your force move key. Most people have this as the spacebar, but keep in mind that it's not bound to anything by default. So if you haven't bound it, it's not going to be anything. Ignore target is going to be a little bit different. That actually tells the script that a key with this binding should never fire at the right analog stick's location. Instead, it should always be firing on the left. This allows abilities like Vault and Whirlwind to feel more intuitive, since they are basically movement abilities, not targeted ones. Remember, you can set these however you like, but uh, this is just an example. So the format for ignore target is going to be ignore target equals key one, key two, key three, etc. Make sure that you have a comma and a space in between each one. 
The format for all the buttons is like this. A button equals modifier plus key comma space modifier when held plus key when held. You can omit any of those that you want and the script is going to understand what you mean so don't worry about it. If you just want a modifier key for the pressed button that's fine. If you want to not have a modifier key at all then just don't put it in and it'll work just fine. Next is calibration. Uh, I would not recommend touching that seriously. It's best if you just leave it how they are. Only thing you should change is calibrate equals which should be true if you want to run calibration and false if you don't. Get set back to false after it's ran once. Speaking of calibration here's a quick video of me actually doing the calibration on screen and the movements that I make with the analog sticks. The last one is preferences. I know it's pretty bare right now, but in later versions, I'll come up with more options. The only thing here is the hold delay, but it's pretty important. This determines the amount of time in milliseconds before a button is considered held by the script. Set it to whatever you want and test out to see what works best for you. So that's pretty much it. Test out things for yourself and see how you like it. Only thing I'd like to show you now is just me doing a greater rift solo using the controller. Other than that, thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to see more about updates on my script, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, if you really enjoy the script and would like to support it for future development, I do have a PayPal donation link in the description. Peace! Hatred is too low. I need more hatred to do that. Darkness away! I'm injured! Not enough hatred. Losing strength. I require aim. I need more hatred to do that. I grant you. Brave the rifts, and you will be well rewarded. Not enough hatred. My hatred is too low.
Not enough hatred. to do that. My hatred is too low. You won't survive that! to do that. betrays you I wish I could my hatred that. is too low I wish I could do that. enough hatred.
revenge. My rod. The Rift Guardian has found you. My hatred is too low. You have a gem? I am returning to town. A fine battle.